Well, hey everybody, it's Kepo Jones here with another episode of the wonderful world of baseball cards. This is another installment of my Project 2020 journey, and the cards are rolling in fast and furious now. I think there's like 14 here or something, and some of these I don't even remember ordering. They are quite beautiful. I'm not sure if some of these made cameos in other videos or not. I am completely having a hard time keeping track of what I ordered, what's coming. But this is my mosaic, I will call it, of cards that have come in over the last, I don't even know, week, 10 days. As I said, they're, they're coming in bunches. And it's actually a little overwhelming, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see some of these. And I mean, you just look at the screen and look at all that color. These are the uh, uh, post uh, crash cards. These are kind of the, the settling, the culling cards, I might call these. Uh, this is as people began to exodus on the set uh, because they realized uh, that their greedy asses weren't going to be able to make any money on it. So they bailed and left the set to us true collectors who are getting uh, rewarded with the spoils of amazing cards. So I'm going to uh, just show you what's come in. This one I'm not sure if this was in the last video. As I said, I'm having a hard time keeping track. But that's the JK5 Ricky Henderson. And this card is just an absolute beauty. Uh, his stuff is so cool. This is kind of the last black and white JK5 card. Um, in a way, I regret not doing his set, but you really can't have them all. I picked this up at a bargain basement price. Um, very cheap um, on the secondary market, and I'm glad to have it. I mean, you just look at that, and they're just stunning. We'll go to the other JK5 here on the other side. Uh, the Mike Trout. Uh, with the freaking laser beams coming out of his eyes. Uh, sharks with laser beams. Again, just absolutely beautiful. Love that card and just the detail that JK5 gets in there. Um, I still feel like his cards are not done justice on these small little baseball card uh, frames. But there's uh, JK5 Trout, beautiful card. This is one that was on my uh, uh, master artist representation set that I had picked out early. And again, it's beautiful. I, I really like his stuff. Um, they're safe, as Eric at those back pages says. But they're just, this is gorgeous. And this is just totally straight up. Uh, the Joshua Vides Sandy Koufax card. It's absolutely beautiful. Very clean. Uh, works really well. Um... And part of my artist representation set, uh, one card of each artist of each player making up a 20 card set. So that was who I picked for my Joshua Vides representation. Uh, the famous F dot card. Um, this is from his really busy period. Um, a lot of people love this card um, for various different reasons. I think it's okay. Uh, nothing too earth shattering. It's an F dot card. Um, the, my favorite thing is getting the Kansas City Monarchs logo in there, I guess. Um, other than that, it's, it's, I'd say it's a middle of the run Jackie Robinson card. Uh, maybe a touch above the Blake James, Jameson as far as the Jackies go at this point in the run. Um, this one I love because I think it's like a play on words. This is the, uh, this is what I call the Shore Griffey. <laughs> uh, Don C's Ken Griffey Jr. I absolutely love it. Don C's going to have a fantastic set. A lot of people don't like his stuff. A lot of people are bailing from his stuff. But his run just keeps getting better. His last two cards, the Jesus Saves Mariano and the George Brett uh, Record Collection one, are just fantastic. Don C's killing it. He's hitting his stride, and he's going to have a totally unique set, but 
There's your uh, Shore Griffey. Uh, wink, wink. Just love it. And I think he's got his Just Don up there in the corner. Love that card. It does almost look like there's sand in there. Super fun. Um, on the other side, we've got, have some people have dubbed the Rishen Keterson. Uh, Sophia Chang, Ricky Henderson. Not much uh, typical Sophia Chang card. I love her cards. I think it's going to look fantastic as a 20 card set. Um, I'm looking forward to having it completed. That's one I'm working on. I know she's one of the uh, lower tier, less popular artists, but probably one of the most respected artists in the project. She's absolutely fantastic. And these greens and, and yellows for Henderson's cards are just absolutely amazing. Uh, I love the Rishen Keterson card. Um, and then on the other end, Don C. His stuff's rolling in, he's catching up, his stuff is, is just great. And this is his best looking card to date. Uh, this is the uh, underwater Willie Mays as, as all the uh, flippers and uh, greedy people um, were bailing from the set thankfully uh, and realized how underwater they were on this set uh, just done. Uh, Don C threw this underwater Willie Mays out for us to compliment his shore Griffey. And uh, we'll just take a look here at these two. Beautiful. He's going to have a great looking set. Great looking set when it's done. Oh, it's coming together so nicely. I just, I love it. Uh, so the, the Don C Willie Mays. Um... Moving up here, it's like pieces to a puzzle. Sophia Chang's Roberto Clemente. Again, I'm doing her run. Um, nice card. Again, her set's going to look really neat all together. And the Mr. Cartoon Big Mac. This is pretty fun. I like this one. Almost looks like a business card. Super cool. Love it. And moving down to the bottom row, it's just like I said, these have all just been flying in. Super hard to keep up with them all. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. I've still got, you know, 80 more cards at this point. To, or I don't even know how many, but this one was a lot more fun in hand. It's actually a great card. The uh, Blake Jameson, Mariano Rivera. Um, this one really works in hand. Um, might be one of the best Riveras besides maybe Don C's at this point. I, I really actually dig the fanny pack. And the Metallica Yankees on his, on his shirt is, is awesome. Uh, this actually really, really works. Uh, Blake did a good job on that one. I like that, really like that Mariano Rivera. That's my fa most favorite Jameson card since probably his McGuire. Tyson Beck, Ted Williams, pretty reliable. I really like the cards when Tyson Beck um, incorporates the back of the card, and he, uh, he did that on this one with the Williams. I um, really like when he incorporates the back of the card. So there's the Tyson Beck Ted Williams. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is the actually the one artist that I really regret not doing his his whole set. And that is the uh, um, Naturel. Uh, here's the Frank Thomas. Just absolutely beautiful. Of course, his use of the triangles. Um, this is just art, folks. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I mean, you look at the triangles for the name, it's like your brain fills it in. Same up there for the White Sox. Your brain just fills it in. It's so neat. Um, love that he blocked out the jersey. Very simple card. Very gorgeous. Brilliant use of color. Gorgeous card. Gorgeous card. Natural stuff for me is almost a must-have at this point. Uh, Matt Taylor. Tony Gwynn. This looks like an F dot card to me. Um, this totally looks like an F dot card. 
busy, uh, the use of the black, um, but it's a great looking card. Um, I don't have too many of the Matt Taylor cards. Um, I saw this Gwyn and I really liked it though. Uh, the Matt Taylor Tony Gwyn. And then finally, this one's really cool. This one's got like a neon vibe to it almost. This uh, grotesque, um, this grotesque Nolan Ryan. Really cool. It's almost got a, a black light kind of feel from those 60s posters with the, with the felt posters with the black light. Um, really, really like this Nolan Ryan. Great use of color. Um, really, really good looking card. I think this is the last grotesque with this kind of phoenix type creature on the card. Um, really, really good looking card. Um, so you can see kind of a wide array of stuff here. Project 2020 has been super fun. It's overwhelming. I gotta label all of these so I know where they are, uh, so I know what's what, so I don't have to open, you know, a hundred packages every time I'm looking for a card. So I'm gonna do that when I put these away. Um, but this is Kebbo Jones with the wonderful world of baseball cards. I hope you all are sticking with Project 20, 2020. Uh, forgetting about your earnings and just collecting the set because it is an absolute beauty. And the journey at the end is just going to be amazing. So, and Don C is killing it. So this is Kevbo Jones with the wonderful world of baseball cards and keep collecting what you love, love what you collect and love and respect Project 2020. Peace.